welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another video. I'm really aware that the lighting in this video is terrible because it's gloomy and dark outside today and my little sister's room is so small I could barely get a good angle. Also ignore that wallpaper, it's a bit bubbly, it's fine. Room's an absolute mess as well. But again, my boyfriend's sleeping in my bed so I have to throw it in here. So today I thought I'd do a simultaneously pregnant my story video. I've done videos similar to this but I've got um, a load more new subscribers recently. I actually hit 100 subscribers which I know people probably think like 100 subscribers that's not even a lot but to me that's a lot. When I first started I literally thought I'd get none and I've done YouTube channels in the past and I literally got like 10 subscribers so I stopped. Um, but I'm consistent with this one and again I've got 100 subscribers and if you think about like 100 people watching you it's quite a lot so anyway I thought I would do this for the new subscribers that haven't watched that video and yeah I just thought I would just do it I'm just going to jump straight in and I literally have so much written down like to talk about so I need to like not talk fast but I need to like get this video done so it's not like 20 hours long. So I want to start it at the beginning of like when me and my boyfriend got together. We got together at the end of May in 2019. So it's nearly a year. Um, yeah, so we got together in May. And I'm trying to start off with sort of how I come about finding out I was pregnant. So... I used to have really regular periods, like I would have one every like three months, one every four months. It literally wasn't weird if I went like six months without having one and I don't know why that was, I just had really really regular periods. But for about eight months my period my periods have been was really regular and that's coming every single month. And it come to November and I didn't get my period and I was really like hmm I've had a period every single month for eight months why don't I have one so just as a precaution I bought pregnancy test and took it it was negative um I wasn't pregnant I had just missed my period that month which is really weird because I'd gone so long with having one every single month to then missing one. Then go on a normal, still don't get my period. November comes around and I didn't get my period in November either and I just thought guess I'm just back in my old ways and not going to have one this month either. And then December rolls around and I still haven't got it. At this point, my boyfriend, my family were all like, mm, are you sure that it's not something else? And I was like, no, 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 it's not. I've, I've just missed my period. Like I've just gone, my body's just gone irregular again, like I used to be. Um, I never once saw in my mind that I could possibly be pregnant. So it comes to Christmas time and still no period. I've been like three months without it, but I had taken a pregnancy test after the first one I missed and it was negative. So I was like, I must just be missing my periods again. Um, you know, must just what I just was happening. My family, my boyfriend was still getting like really like, no, are you sure there's not something else? And I was just shoving it under the carpet, like, no, it's nothing else. Like, no. It comes to just after Christmas, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to buy a pregnancy test and take it, just to prove to everyone that I'm not pregnant, and I know my body, and I know that I've just missed my periods, I've just gone irregular again. So I took the test, and... Breath. I just run downstairs, set my puppy downstairs because he was crying. Anyway, so I took the test and it's positive, and I was like, "This is fake. This is fake. This is fake." Um, I was like, "I've just bought cheap ones off Amazon. They were literally like three pound for two. This is fake." So 
so I did the other one and that came up positive and I was like what and I was just standing there in just complete shock like just complete and utter shock I didn't know what to do I was like what like <laughs> what I googled whether you can get like a false positive pregnancy test and it said that it was like really really rare that that could happen so I was like oh my god I'm pregnant and I was like no I can't like, I was literally done I was like I can't be like I can't be I my boyfriend was at my house as well he was asleep he's always seemed to be asleep I just sat there and I was like oh my god what am I going to do um, I've, I've made a video of how I told everybody as well, I'll briefly say in this video. After that, about an hour later, I told my mum, she walked into my room, her room, given to her, I was crying. I was like, I oh, don't know what to do. And she's like, what do you mean you don't know what to do? And I just give her the pregnancy test and she was like, what can you do? She's like, well, I knew this was happening. Um, and she was so supportive and like everything the whole time she was not once was angry or disappointed in me because she knew that I was going to be totally fine and I'm quite capable of doing this after we had like a big chat I went to my boyfriend woke up and I told him and he was really shocked and he was shocked for about a day and then he just kind of got over it and now we're both like so excited to meet him and overall I took eight pregnancy tests literally was taking like two a day for about four days or something because I was so in denial like I can't be like how am I pregnant because I used to have really irregular periods I actually thought that I might have had polycystic ovaries because my older sister has it and I had like she thought I had it too so I always had a feeling in my head that I might not be able to have babies so part of me was so so happy like oh my god I can have children and part of me was like oh my god I can't believe this so after all that it still hadn't sunken in for me so because I had missed three periods um, and I'd had a negative pregnancy test, two negative pregnancy tests actually, and they were like fast response ones too, so they weren't cheap ones, they were like proper ones, um, I didn't know how far along I was because my last period was in October. So I was like, I don't know how far along I am. I don't know if I'm 12 weeks, if I'm 8 weeks, if I'm 6 weeks, like I do not know. So we had to ring up the midwives because you have to refer yourself to the midwife now. And they put me in for a dating scan. And I went for my dating scan. Obviously confirmed that I was definitely pregnant. And I was eight weeks pregnant. Okay, so I'm just editing and I just want to add in here. Um, so the first period I missed in November was just a missed period so i had a missed period and then got pregnant the following month i just wanted to clear it up because uh it sounded a bit confusing yeah so i missed my period in november got pregnant in december when i found out i was six weeks um and then obviously my scan was two weeks later so i was eight weeks then and then from there we started telling like some of my close family like my brothers my brothers my brother my sisters, things like that, um, my granddad, and everyone was literally so supportive towards me. No one in my family at all has been like, oh my god, what the hell? Like, no, no one has said a bad word to me in my family. So then, obviously, we've had like midwife appointments, things like that. It was kind of sinking in, but I still was like, so I had my 12 week scan and obviously at the 12 week scan they looked like an actual baby and I think that's when it fully sunk in that I was going to have a baby because I had pictures of a baby like that was a baby there and yeah it just kind of went on like that also when I was 12 weeks I announced it to everybody that I was pregnant and everyone was just so supportive towards me so lovely 
um i've literally had only a couple people be like rude to me and pe there were people like i didn't even know so <laughs> they're really not really nothing um i'm not gonna lie i don't really talk to much, many people anymore and i wouldn't say i've lost friends because i'm pregnant but i'm, I'm not really sure i i don't speak to a lot of people i'm not sure if that is because i'm pregnant or because i just don't speak to them anymore but i literally have like two friends now which is a bit sad it does get me down sometimes but you know it's life and as long as i have my baby and my boyfriend and my family that's all that really matters and the two friends i do have so i need to be honest so that's basically my story i at 16 weeks had my gender scan i found out i'm having a little boy his name is grayson and right now I am 24 weeks, well I'm 23 weeks and 6 days, so basically 24 weeks, which is absolutely mental, like I can't believe I've gone from being like 6 weeks pregnant to 24 weeks pregnant and it just feels like it's gone so so fast and I really hope that these next 3 and a bit months go really fast too. Also I just want to say that... Um, never once as soon as soon as i saw them two lines on the pregnancy test i knew 100 percent i was keeping him and never would i have thought about giving him up or um getting an abortion or anything like that never even crossed my mind my mum said to me that if i wasn't ready that even she would adopt him for me and like bring him up as hers but i am ready um everything happens for a reason i believe and this is a blessing i do believe this is a blessing and my life isn't over people keep that people say that oh children have kids having kids all this your life's over my life isn't over if anything my life's actually just beginning so you know take that how you want it <laughs> yeah so that is my story of being 17 and pregnant well my story so far anyway i'm not done being pregnant yet if you are new please make sure to subscribe because i do a lot more videos like this like pregnancy baby hauls everything like love it my next video is either going to be a baby haul or tmi pregnancy symptoms or my bub date <laughs> i have so many videos in my head that i just need to get out but at the minute it's like hard to film because obviously I'm isolating with my boyfriend, so I can't really just be filming when he's shouting on his place. I don't like FIFA, can I? <laughs> so, yeah, please watch us like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.